What's up everybody? Before I get into this video, I want to give a quick and very deserving shout out to Radar MC 2020, AKA Distro Kid. He gave me permission to use this music, this track, this intro track to set the tone to this video as with previous videos where I've used his music. He has given me permission to freely share his gift of song with you. Special, special shout out and appreciation to you, brother. If you guys would like to know more about Radar MC 2020, he's a rapper and producer. You may do so by clicking on the link that I provide in the video description box. All right. Now, there's so many layers to what I'm about to get into, but the primary reason for me talking about this now is from a in um, and highly intuitive level. I've been sensing this for a very long time. I'm just going to speak straight from my heart. And this is what I'm about to share with you. It's connected to not only 5G, but it will also be connected to these, uh, what you call it, these vaccines that they will soon be pushing. All right. Now, for the past 20 years, you guys noticed that there has been shows putting great emphasis on getting DNA tests. It started with shows like Maury Povich, where women are coming on testing multiple men for the paternity of their child. And of course, it has worked in the reverse. People have brought on people who they believe are their biological parents children who want to know uh, who their parents are people want to know who's the biological uh, father mother their child and so on and so forth so this created a natural interest in the public to go and get DNA tests for the very same thing unbeknownst to what's really going on behind it now in recent years we see these 21 and 23 and me and um, all these different uh, DNA testing sites where they can trace our ancestry no matter where we come from in the world and of course this too is going to be very appealing to a lot of us especially those of us who are of African ascent meaning ascend get it instead of descendants we are ascendants get it <laughs> we've been called black negro moors hebrew israelites i mean the name go on and on and on and on and on and on but i'm here to tell you we're much 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 bigger than all of that those are just aspects of our sojourn and our experience but neither of those titles truly define who we are there are beings on this earth who know who we really are and because of this they're more interested in seeing who's having the DNA activation and mutation to make that connection and knowing naturally I am talking about activating your inherent ability to find out anything you would like to know. For instance, we have the potential and capability of finding out where our bloodline comes from on that level if that is what we so choose within the self. We have the ability to know just about anything we want to know within self, but many of us continue to look outside only or we still think and believe that this is pseudo it's not possible we still think and believe that the five senses and what we can see feel and touch is all there is so therefore we're not evolving and developing those layers of self that will show and prove to self by experience by that knowing not a belief not an opinion but a knowing that we are far more greater and have access to things that is truly beyond the basic mind concept and basic human comprehension. So as the energies increase on the planet and the rays from the sun 
hit this planet at an all-time level of intensity, still ain't where it's ultimately going to be, there are those who need to collect our DNA to see how we're mutating, how we're changing. Now, some of you may say, and I've actually heard people say things like, well, they already have our DNA. When we're born, they get our blood and they get saliva and all that then. And that's true, but here's what we keep forgetting. DNA can mutate. DNA can be altered. We also can download light codes that can, um, that carries etheric or ethereal DNA. Just as we are programmable, we can also overwrite or rewrite programs. And that includes DNA. This is what people keep forgetting. So people running around in fear of this and that. You keep forgetting that we have very, very powerful genetics and very, very powerful DNA. And when you are in a state of fearlessness, we unlock and activate those DNA strands and we also draw and bring them in. It's only when we're in a state of fear and terror, perpetual fear, terror, and worry that we prevent our DNA from basically evolving, ultimately mutating or changing or shifting. That's a part of the evolution. So what I'm ultimately making you guys aware of is that I strongly sense and feel and been sensing and feeling this for a long time that these tests are a part of the lure to get us to give up our DNA because they can't just run around and take it especially if you are aware enough to not want to consent to that so what they have to do is to make it appealing and lure and, and seduce us into it by dangling a very strong desire or wanting of something and what do they gain from this they get to map and see who's mutating and who's changing and begin mapping out ways to either block it or shut it down altogether. And all of this is again connected to this so-called pandemic as well as 5G. It's all connected. They know that now more than ever, people are waking up and DNA activation, mutation, and downloads is happening at an all time high and they can't just take our DNA they have to get us to give it to them so that they put it in these supercomputers and have their top scientists analyze and figure out ways to intercept this is what I strongly feel you can take what resonate and leave the rest behind or you don't have to take it at all but you have to ask yourself at least have an inner dialogue as to why there's so much focus and so much interest in pushing these DNA tests on us more than ever. And you cannot and should not come to the conclusion that it is because they care about us. Because as the great Michael Jackson said, they really don't care about us. They really don't. They only care about maintaining their status and keeping their foot on our necks. All right. That's all I have to share for right now. Depending on how you guys respond. I may do a part two. If you want a part two where I can go even deeper. And it's resonating. By all means let me know. And I'll decide where I want to move from there. All right. Until next time. Continue to question, learn, and grow.